Hey, what is up guys? Started to hear this is gonna be a little difficult because I'm not in a whole lot of pain right now, but I was a little earlier and um, yeah, I'm just laying in bed right now. Got a whole bunch of stuff to do. But um, if you guys are unaware of the loop, uh, about a week and a half ago, um, I had noticed a my testicle, my right testicle was getting a lot bigger and it wasn't like that just a month prior. And my dad had recently had been diagnosed with colon cancer and he had surgery and I hadn't been to the doctors in a couple of years and haven't had a physical and uh, just decided to go and have it checked out. And and the doctor is definitely confirming it wasn't a hernia. It uh, definitely was something going on. Um, and he wanted me to go get a um, CAT scan, not a CAT scan, a uh, get it checked out by a urologist. So I got scans of my scrotum, came back, urologist is like pretty 90% sure it's cancer, uh, either a tumor or cancer, but it's definitely not an infection. It's not, you know, um, it's not getting any smaller. It's getting bigger actually. And I had to immediately, you know, decide on when I was getting surgery because you know, the longer I waited, the worse it could get. If it was cancer, it could have possibly spread, you know, any of that. So it was like really heartbreaking um, because, you know, my heart just sank. Like obviously in the back of my mind, you know, I was just like, you know, this could be cancer, you know, like I, I didn't think of anything at first. Like I was really upset and scared and shocked. And I was just like thinking like, you know, I'm, tight with money right now. Like I can't be putting all these bills out, you know, like I got rent coming up. I got work. I can't miss work. Like, you know, and it's really tough. Like, and I had to decide, you know, when I was going to have my surgery or if I was going to have it. Now I immediately called my, my family and let them know it was up and they freaked out and they were just like, I don't, you know, don't get it cut out. You know, what if he's wrong? He just wants money, blah, blah, blah. And then he had talked to my sister uh, who works at a cancer center and she talked to your, her urologist and that's pretty much a standard practice. And then my grandmother, uh, my dad's side, he uh, or she was basically like, you know, they had just had a seminar like the other day about, you know, stuff like that. And um, it's definitely had to come out. So made a couple calls on my insurance. I, I thought it was covered the the actual surgery i just had to pay like 160 dollars in copays for the anesthesiologist this the the actual um, urologist and then the surgery center um cost so i was supposed to schedule my um surgery for tuesday and what ended up happening was i was trying to you know, get everything done as quick as possible. I went that day and got my chest x-ray done. And then the following day, I scheduled an appointment for my CAT scan to check if, you know, the cancer had spread up into, you know, any other areas of my body. Um, so I didn't know if they needed the results back from that. I didn't think they did, but, you know, I didn't know that you couldn't eat for eight hours or drink or anything like that. And you had to like prep yourself and, and, you know, so I was, trying to push it as quick as possible. Cause earlier that day, the doctor's like, I could do it tomorrow if you want. And I was just not sure if the insurance would cover it. So long and behold, you know, the next day, you know, it started snowing and, um, I had talked to the urologist about, you know, getting it scheduled for earlier next week, uh, like Monday or Tuesday. And he didn't know if they were even going to open on Monday due to the snow. Cause we got like 30 inches, um, of snow and it was crazy. So he's like, you know, I'm leaving out of town Tuesday. I'm not going to be the one doing it. I'll have to make a couple calls around, you know, to see if I can get you someone. And he's like, I got you for Tuesday if you want. And I'm like, all right, let's do that. But if you can try to fit me in on Monday, let me know. So Monday he calls back and he goes, well, the results came back that it looks like the cancer hasn't spread, uh, which was great news. Um, you know, I was so relieved. Thank God. And, you know, thank everyone for all the support on Twitter and Facebook and, and, uh, you know, really appreciate everyone who's, you know, reached out to me and, and asked for prayers and, and DM'd me and I really care about how I'm doing. It really lifted me up. Um, and thank you guys. Uh, but 
Tuesday comes around and Tuesday morning I'm getting ready for my surgery and I didn't eat the night before, I didn't drink. Um, my mom's just calling just to confirm the appointment and they go, we don't have you in here. My heart dropped and I'm just like, you know, I'm telling everyone my surgery is today, you know, like, is there any way you can fit me in? Like, I, he had told me, you know, Tuesday and I'm just like, maybe he just didn't schedule it. He was just saying I could get Tuesday. So they had to pull some strings and they got me in for Thursday, which is today. Um, didn't eat anything past 12 o'clock last night, didn't drink, had to wake up, uh, at 6 30, get in the shower, leave by seven, had to be there by eight cause it's in Maryland. Uh, we have Maryland insurance cause my dad works in Maryland and, and, uh, we got Maryland insurance. So had to go down there. Um, so I had to wake up really early. They wanted me there an hour earlier to fill out paperwork and whatnot. And then she's like, you know, there's actually going to be a charge, you know, you owe $1,080 or something like that due. And I'm just like, what? I just called the insurance the other day and just confirmed before I even did anything. Like, well, let's call them together. So I called the insurance, added them to the call, the conference call. And they're like, yeah, we cover 100% of the allowance if your deductible is met. And then my heart sank again. I'm just like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, your family insurance plan has a $2,000 deductible and you've paid $0 this year towards that. Because, you know, we don't really go for other, anything other than physical stuff that's not covered, either with like a copay or something or $30 or whatever. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. So I look at my credit card. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, I'm definitely, you know, trying to save my money and my credit card's pretty full. I mean, I have, eight, I have uh, no interest right now on my credit card, so I've been putting a lot of stuff on it, just, you know, waiting for tax returns so I can start paying that back. And, and you know, I didn't want to miss work because I had taken off a couple of days for work to get these scans done. And I'm telling my work, you know, surgeries on Tuesday, but it's now on Thursday. You know, I'm getting, like, like, all upset and freaked out. And so I made a payment on my credit card um, to free up enough space to put – you know, the whole bill on the credit cards. Now, like my cards like maxed out. So I got to figure out, you know, um, bill situation wise, but you know, um, just frustrating. So I get there, I pay the, pay the surgery. Then I find out the anesthesiologist is billed separate. So I'm going to be waiting for that bill. Who knows how much that's going to cost. Um, the insurance said it's only a $30 copay, but I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, had my surgery today, uh, went in on the table at nine o'clock, talked to me about the surgery, put me out, completely out asleep, went under, and then I wake up and driving back home with my mom and didn't really have much pain. I mean, I was sore. Um, the pain started coming a lot sooner than expected. I was kind of like in and out the car ride home, which is about an hour to my parents' house. My mom ended up grabbing some clothes and, and, you know, stuff. So she's going to stay at my place for a couple days just to help me out. Um, you know, and what's really crazy is, you know, like that's when the pain started kicking in. So I was like, mom, we need to get this pain medication that they, uh, sub uh prescribed for me. So we go to Walmart and they don't even have it ready. They're like, yeah, we don't have any paperwork from your, you know, urologist center or anything. So that was a hassle. I had to wait 45 minutes in pain, like so much pain. I would say like eight out of 10 on a scale. And I'm like dying in the car and finally get the pain meds. I take one. You're supposed to take like one or two every, every like four or six hours and um, ended up, you know, taking that and it helped about 20 minutes later. And it's just been really rough, like in and off pain. I had my, my dad come over and, uh, you know, set up my TV, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. Got my laptop up here. As you can see, I got like a FedEx box because I don't have like one of those laptop um, things, the laptop desks. I know we sell them at my work, but I don't, I just don't have one. And I got money to spend on that right now. Got like a, you know, my 3DS, all my Zelda games because I've really not played my 3DS at all. And, you know, I've just been trying to relax like sucks and you know i would and, I, and what's crazy is like even earlier there was a deadpool commercial 
um, saying to check yourself. So I would definitely go ahead and do that if I were you. So um, definitely get yourself checked out. I wouldn't wait, you know, like at least they were saying at least once a month. But, you know, it's crazy. It's like all this stuff just happens so quick. And I just, you know, it was like scared. But at the same time, you know, like I have faith in God and, you know, I prayed and, you know, I had a lot of support, which I really appreciate everyone. And um, my work sending me uh, get two weeks leave of absence. So um, I guess I'll be getting somewhat a paycheck for the next two weeks. As long as that gets approved, um, they submitted it. So we'll pray for that. And then um, I gotta go to back in two weeks just to get checked up again. Um, and then they're going to test the testicle to make sure if it was cancer or not. I mean, obviously, like I said, they said it was like 90% sure, but it could just been like a growing tumor that could have been cancerous down the road. So who knows? Um, really want to appreciate everyone for tuning in the channel, watching this video and uh, love you guys. Halo community has been really supportive. Um, you know, just, you know, I, I read every tweet you guys send me every DM, uh, every comment on YouTube and you know, uh, I got two weeks to recover. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I got a tournament next Sunday for Halo. So hopefully I'm recovered enough to play in that. But uh, like I said, I don't even have a team yet for that. It's just me and my brother right now. Um, we've been playing a lot with Dextrum, which I mean, we team with him for another qualifier. And, you know, I, I played really bad last cup. And, you know, like, I, I it really wasn't like, statistically I played pretty bad, but like, I. Just a, just the team, just teamwork wasn't there. So, you know, I'm gonna come back hard. I appreciate everyone for watching. If you like these vlogs, you know, I'm gonna be trying to do one every day. Now I can't shower for about two to three days, so I'm gonna give you how to give you a warning for that. Um, so, don't be uh, hating in the comments. You know, I'll probably wear a hat next video or something. Who knows? But uh, I've been trying to do the best I can and thank you guys for tuning in. You know, it was, uh, it's really hard, um, but you know, I'm gonna get through just like, you know, never given up on Halo and you know, I've always strived to be the best. So I'm gonna beat this cancer and and uh, take what's next from steps forward. So peace out guys, love you, later.